Hello everyone, I'm back with another stream, so yes, of course, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, ring the bell icon to be notified of any content coming out of my channel. Now, we're going to be up against Tiger Lake, and this is going to be like the tournament, and uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so we're going to have to somewhat fast forward the things here, and my phone's giving me a bunch of, well, mistouches. It's annoying. Anyway... We're going to have to try and capture the flag right here, but Tiger Lick is actually playing a uh, really phenomenal here. So he captured my flag right here before I can, and then the scientific vehicle came out, and he's opting out to go for that, and is also going here. That's absolutely nice there, and I'm going to have to try and uh, recapture this flag right around here. Okay, there you go, and he got two. A reinforcement there primarily from th my side and on his side which is actually definitely very good and so with that I'm still just you know trying to produce some units here and uh, go develop my base to level 3 or 4 HQ acid strikes been thrown okay, I'm gonna have to try and uh, get back to my base here okay Still trying to get this uh, flag right here to get my reinforcements in place. Okay, HQ4 is almost ready. He captured this uh, flag again. Alright, and then trying to attack some stuff there. Now my forces are split around if you may have noticed. Some are here, some is here, and then no places to my base. I do have some scout right here. Okay, going HQ. Uh, Alright, so I already got that level four or level three x facility however i don't know man i mean i was not notified of that seraphim coming over there so which is kind of weird because it's in hide mode so i have no idea if even if a unit was spotted as long as it is in hide mode will a player be notified which is just actually weird and often happens to me and there you go vertex are actually here trying to finish up my prototype facility and uh he'll be actually managed to get it at the exchange of his uh, Seraphim and two of his Vertex, which is absolutely worth it if you think about it. Okay, so he got a really good score on that part there. And, uh, yep, scientific vehicle being a scientific vehicle and will be destroyed by two Zeus's. And he's going to have to try and dominate me with the reinforcement he got and a little bit of units that he produced. However, I got like tons of units right here. I got like a ton of... Uh, Dragon Folai, okay, he has plenty of Typhoons himself. Okay. So I'm going to have to retreat. Seraphim is right around there. Very good engagement right there here. Okay, so I'm going to have to rebuild that uh, prototype facility in order to house my stuff better. Okay. Scientific vehicle is here. However, his army is lounging around here. And I'm going to have to retreat. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to target that Seraphim, which has uh, been destroyed. And he has plenty of units right here. Like six Zeus, one has been destroyed. And I'm trying to have my, um, you know, my Jaguars destroy those Zeus. However, those Vertex really, really trying to be annoying here as to destroy some of my clumped up Jaguars. And his reinforcement actually appeared at the right position, which is very, very bad. Okay, Cerberus right around here. Again, trying to be annoying. And one of his Zeus is actually trying to capture my flag there, which is absolutely bad if you think about it. And then that Cerberus also made a jump, destroying plenty of my stuff there. And uh, bruised up porcupines are going to be owned. And uh, yeah, five dragonflies took a really long time to destroy those stuff there. Or actually seven dragonflies that I have. And yeah, just a one versus one of a, I don't know what class of a Cerberus that is, but it destroyed a Jaguar. And that Zeus is not going to falter against uh, four Porcupines. So I got my all my army handed to me. Okay, and uh, that annoying Cerberus is still there, so I'm going to have to try and get rid of it with my stuff. And uh, better remember that he does have a lot of Vertex or four Vertexes. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm going to have to ignore that for the time being since I don't really have an army to follow up with it, and he has a vertex to destroy my stuff here. Okay, so Leviathan is on the way now after being delayed by a huge chunk of time, and uh, yep, again vertex trying to be in the way, managed to destroy a vertex there. Okay, I'm actually at a very big disadvantage here thanks to the initial delay he did put me into by destroying the. Uh, re Prototype facility for my Leviathan. And here goes. Okay, again, he's trying to be annoying right there. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and capture this uh, stuff here for my reinforcement. Now, I've actually tried to decide not to get that reinforcement at all. Because if I try and get it, this point point will be, or the location where you have to capture will change. But if I don't get it, there will be no additional points that will appear around the map. This gives me the advantage since, well, I'm actually behind in terms of reinforcement. So he's actually ahead of me in that. All right. So yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to get that anymore. So both of us will no longer have reinforcement, to, but just a chunk of uh, produced units from our resources. Here goes, launching attack right here, and I do have plenty of Dragonflies, uh, Wasp, Porcupine, uh, Leviathan right around there. I'm gonna have to try and destroy that. Okay, Vertex right around there. Okay, managed to destroy one Vertex at the expense of one Dragonfly. Okay, now. And so, Leviathan, or Solaris, or Seraphim rather, headed over there, tried to get rid of my stuff, dealt a huge chunk of damage. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't destroyed by three porcupines, so, yeah, I still need more. Okay, moving my army right around here. Okay. Okay, some, uh, stuff already got there, and I'm gonna have to try and capture this flag right around here. Okay, moving my forces around. However, typhoons were already in place. So, it's actually a big W for him, so I'm gonna have to retreat before I lose a chunk of units. Okay, there you go. I'm going to have to retreat now and avoid taking further losses. So I lost a bunch of dragonflies and I managed to capture this flag right around here. Okay, activating all my chameleons. Mole is also here with my newly produced units. And uh, Serafima, okay. Not gonna cut it, so I'm gonna have to try and siege him up. Okay, there you go. Okay. Just trying to siege him up here. Some of my chameleons run out of energy, which is absolutely bad. Solaris. Ooh, solid hit right there. Very good skill when it comes to targeting those Jaguars inside the fog. Okay. Again, targeting those Jaguars inside the fog. Activating my chameleons basically are useless against it. He already knows where the jaguars are. So that takes some 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 kind of skill because I mean it's quite easy to guess where that is if you're a pro. So basically he's a pro. Okay. So here we go now. Newly produced units around here. More units are in production. And we're going to have to try and get rid of that uh, Cerberus. However, it still managed to destroy one of my stuff before it actually uh, been destroyed. And here we go. My stuff here will be destroyed here. Oh my goodness, man. He's actually launching an attack. And, ooh, wow, super pathfinding. Okay, so I'm going to have to lose uh, both of those newly produced units because of an epic pathfinding. Okay. All right, now at this point, I'm going to have to rally my forces and regroup and uh, reposition. Now, yep, there you go. Mole at the front. Okay, targeted. Not really destroying a bunch of stuff. All right, and here we go. Acid strike with that annoying nuclear now from my end. Moving my chameleons around. Turrets is covered by the fog. Okay, vertex here. Trying to get rid of my leviathan. Covered by the porcupines. Okay, he lost a bunch of stuff, and so did I. Okay, now majority of my chameleons has already been owned. Reactivating some chameleon there. He lost a bunch of Zeus. 
But that's about it. Okay now. Alright, that actually went in my favor at the expense of majority of my stuff there. I only got like what? Four Jaguars and plenty of porcupines there. Okay now. So, fast forward again as I reproduce my army. Again, no more reinforcement here from both of us. Okay, that many porcupine and the Leviathan could not really destroy that vertex in one go. Okay. Okay. Oh, solid hit right there, my man. Okay. He actually destroyed my uh, mole with just a force firing. Okay. Cerberus actually jumped, revealing what I have. And that did not really go into my favor. I should have used a gold scouting boost instead. Or had my dragonfly ahead. Okay, so he's going to have to retreat here for a moment while I reproduce my stuff here. I actually built another factory for me to reproduce that Jaguar faster. Okay, he's headed towards the bottom side of the map here and I'm actually headed to his base. Now, let's see how this goes. I'm going to have to try and attack him from this side and some of his forces are actually split into defending his base. I set up him right around here to defend against my uh, attack. However, that's not really going to cut it. Meanwhile, looking at my base right here, I'm actually expecting him to attack. Therefore, I had my majority of my newly produced units defend my base. There goes that Seraphim will definitely fall without doing anything against the Porcupine and the Leviathan. Okay, some of his Zeus will also fall. And uh, yeah... So he also had all of his vertex attack my base as opposed to attacking my stuff to defend. And so I'm going, I've actually switched to gold uh, defense boost to defend my base against any pending attacks, shenanigans, building my construction yard away from my base. However, those vertex actually foiled it. And I'm actually expecting him to do the same. So yeah, it's going to end up in a base trade. There you go. He's going to have to destroy my stuff there. I got like HQ level 5 thankfully. And uh, he has like what? This form for a base. So I got like 5 porcupines here. 5 jaggers, 4 chameleons and a leviathan. He has what? Um, 5 Zeus. A Solaris. And so on. Okay. So I will no longer produce any units at this point. Um, because I no longer can. Um, due to no HQ. And I'm just going to have to build an HQ right around here as soon as I have enough resources for it. Now, having that said, I had my porcupines cover the airfields to, of course, prevent those vertex from firing around. There you go. And so I had my Leviathan attack that construction yard while the rest of my army destroyed majority of the chunk of his base. Or, yeah, his base, rather. Now, his bed right around here is not focusing at one building at a time, which takes a little bit longer if all of them fired at a single building, just like what I am doing. As you can see, my Jaguars fire at that power plant, and all my porcupines fire at that airfield, while my Leviathan takes care of the rest of the construction yard he's built. Now, I got, like, here an HQ, and he's also rebuilding that HQ as a last desperate measure. GG! Now, if you guys like this video, again, smash the like button, ring the bell icon, and comment down below what are your thoughts. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.